Oh, hey, hi, I'm Crazy Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do at home. You probably look nothing like me due to a random collection of molecular combinations. And oh, yeah, I'm going over today's science file. In today's science file, it says How did life get started on Earth? That's an awesome question. Try this. You will need some straws, a pair of scissors, and some electrical tape. Today I am going to show you how to make your very own DNA model right at home. So, you can start by getting yourself like a buttload of straws because you are going to need a buttload of straws to do this, okay? So enough talking, let's, let's just get started with our buttload of straws. <laughs> Start by getting yourself four different colored straws. Cut those four straws into equal pieces, roughly about three to four centimeters in length. Now you're gonna tape two colored straws together, making sure that you keep both pairs the exact same color. Now get yourself some electrical tape. Lay down two tracks of electrical tape. Now attach your paired straws to the electrical tape, alternating the straws like this. Now get yourself some electrical tape. Lay down two tracks of electrical tape. Now pick up your straws and give them a twirl and you get a DNA model just like that. Check that out, you got a very own wicked cool DNA model. Right there, right at home, you made it yourself. Is that cool or what? <laughs> okay, so where, where, where did this DNA come from? And how did life get started on this planet? Well, don't look at the Bible or me. Take a closer look at this. The origins of life can be found about four billion years ago with organic molecules found in clay deposits near underwater vents. Lightning strikes would charge the water, which would charge the underwater clay, which attracted nucleotide molecules. These nucleotide molecules were attracted to each other, forming stacks or chains similar to how crystals form. Other nucleotide molecules were attracted to the already formed chains, forming a double helix. When temperatures near the volcanic vents were hot enough, these chains would split into two copies of the same chain. These chains were very unstable, causing some of the chains to begin to wrap around themselves, leaving a more stable molecule. Around the same time that these chains were forming, small fatty acid bubbles also began to form from carbon and hydrogen molecules which would stack on each other. Some of the nucleotide molecules made their way inside these fatty acid bubbles. These formed chains which would split and form molecular bundles known as ribosome replicators, which would build genes or chains that would maintain the bubble as well as maintain the ability to continue replicating molecular information. This allowed the bubbles to pull apart without breaking, forming two new daughter cells. Eventually, chains began to stick together, forming primitive DNA, which would increase the likelihood of replicating information, and thus sped up the evolution of fatty acid bubbles into primitive cell bacteria. So now you know how life got started on this planet. You know, making your own DNA model right at home is why science is so cool.